In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can show a location in Google Maps in your website. So this is super simple. So for it, first of all, we need to go to the Google Maps. So here we'll go search for Google Map and then we'll go to Google Map over here, Google Maps. Then from the Google Maps, you need to first search for your certain location that you want to show in your website. So you can just search over here USA, USA Embassy or anything and then it will be automatically be selected. So right now for this tutorial, I just randomly select a location. Let's just uh, select this location for example. And here once you select it, a red sign will appear and the location will also appear on the left side as well. So from here, what you have to do is that you need to find the share option and then click on the share option. If you click on the share option, you will see send a link and embed a map so we'll click on this embedded a map after clicking on the embedded on map you will see a iframe so something like this and on the right side you will see copy html but before that on the left side you can see medium here you can choose how big you want to show the map in your website you can choose small medium large or you can even choose custom size custom size means you can give a specific height and specific width so for this tutorial we will choose the large option and then we will click on this copy html option and then this will get copied here you can see as well copy to clipboard so right now we will go to our code editor and we will paste it at the end of our body tag and here you can see inside the iframe there is the google map location so right now if we save it then if we go to our browser then if we refresh our index.html and here you can see the location over here you can see the specific location we can zoom in and even we can zoom out as well we can even choose the direction from here as well so this is how you can add location or you can show a specific location in google map in your website so i hope this tutorial was useful to you you learned something new so thank you very much for watching i really appreciate if you subscribe to this channel make sure to leave a comment and i will see you in the next tutorial